What is up, everybody? It's your boy Chris here of 1980-something call. I'm about to go live right now. It's a beautiful Wednesday evening, and I got some finds here. Some things that I'm just going to throw up on Instagram. So if you don't know, I go live on Instagram almost nightly, and I host as well. So if you'd like to hop on with me to sell your vintage, uh, I have 120,000 followers on Instagram, and every time I go live, it's just a good audience to show your pieces to. So I got pieces like this and a bunch of other really cool things that I'm gonna be throwing up. But the flagship pieces for tonight are these here. So I found this Bowie piece in a bin. So I paid less than a dollar for this one. This one's really cool. It's got this washed out tag. The print is nice and thick. Uh, the sleeves here are single stitch. You gotta watch out because there's some pretty good modern prints that, are, that look just like this. But this one right here looks like it is OOG just because of the thick print that it has and then the washed out tag. And usually the modern ones have like a fancier tag on the, on the over this info tag here. And this one doesn't look like it ever had another tag on top of it. So I'm, I'm thinking this may be like a seventies sportswear tag. This one may be a seventies Bowie piece. So this is just like rock history right here. Look at the wear on the back. This thing's beautiful, man. But we'll see where that one goes. My audience usually buys like nineties t-shirts kind of vintage streetwear, as I like to call it. We'll see how they do with like the true vintage piece. That's true vintage. So true vintage is like 70s and older, right? You guys let me know in the comments. But anyway, size large, we got this one coming up next. So this one is from 2009, Drag Me to Hell. This is a Sam Raimi classic. And you just never see this print anywhere. So such a good graphic on this one going up tonight. And I'll be starting this one at like 40 bucks. I think I paid about 80 bucks for this one, but I've worn it enough. I'm ready to just pass it on, get whatever I can get for it and just move on. Uh, I bought it at a time when uh, t-shirts were going crazy, 2020, 2021. And now prices have gone down a lot. Uh, you know, the market, the economy's all crazy right now, inflation. It's just not what it used to be. So you gotta be realistic with your prices. That is super important. Up next. We have this Eagles tee that I got from my friend St. Louis NYC. This thing is beautiful. I don't think there's ever been a better Eagles tee, but uh, you guys let me know. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a better Eagles shirt. This thing is amazing. It's a bootleg and unfortunately it's just too long. I've lost a lot of weight. I'm super skinny right now. So I need like 27, 28 length. And this was like a 30, unfortunately. I wore it a few times, but uh, <laughs> I was in denial and I realized I have to sell it. Same thing goes for this one. I hadn't worn this one in a minute. I wore it the other day and it's just too big. Look at the fade on this thing. The fade is incredible on this one. I have a dream on the back. This is a beautiful MLK wrap tee. I'm so jealous of whoever's gonna be able to fit this. Look at the lightning across the bottom, the colors. This thing is just, this is just gorgeous. And I'm a big sucker for fades. Uh, and this one definitely has one of the best fades I've ever seen. So we'll see where this one goes. I'll be starting this one at a dollar. Eagles will be starting at... Should we start? Let's start it at a dollar. I feel like we started at a dollar. Drag Me to Hell will start it at 40. I forgot how much I paid for the Eagles. I'll have to look that up. I forgot how much I paid for the Eagles. But Bowie, I paid less than a buck. Drag Me to Hell, I paid 80 bucks. Eagles, I forgot. Uh, this Martin Luther King, I paid 300 for this one. And I'm gonna start it at a dollar because I mean, it's just a unicorn piece as far as, when it comes to the fade, it's unmatched. So we'll see how close it gets to 300 or if it surpasses it, who knows? I'm good either way. Uh, I've had my time with it. Ain't no point in sitting on it, waiting for the value to go up or whatever market to change. I'd rather just sell pieces and get more. So let's see what happens, y'all. Yo, yo, what up, guys? Your boy Chris here of 1980-something. Co. Welcome, welcome. Music or podcast at the bins. Uh, I'm music. I like music at the bins. Uh, if I'm listening to a podcast, uh, I, I think it because I'm... Tell me if anybody else experiences this. At the bins, can't listen to a podcast because I'm using my brain to look at everything. Like, I'm not paying attention to what people are saying because it's like in my head, I'm like the Terminator. I'm just like... <laughs> not a grill what's that zeroing in not the right material like i don't know for tonight guys we got some great pieces yesterday i thrifted this one 
I got this Drag Me to Hell, guys. Super rare one. 2009. Crazy, crazy one. Sam Raimi classic. Let's just do the MLK. Because I can tell you guys want that one. So let's do the MLK. MLK is a 24 pit to pit. 30 inch top to bottom size XL. Tag is faded out on this one. Pit, all right, so it looks like there's like a little here on the side, on the front. You have that tiny hole. You have this hole right here. Vintage P coming in with the 200 right out the gate. Yeah, I was pretty sad when I threw this one on the other day to go out with some friends and it was just a little oversized. I'm just mad thin right now, so. Uh, all my old tees are just fitting me smaller and smaller. I need like a 27 top to bottom. I don't even want to buy grails in that size. There's no point. So I've just been thrifting tees that I'm going to start wearing because I, I don't want to buy any grails in, in a super small size. <laughs> 270 is in guys, run it up. 300 is in from Hello Woozy. All right, looks like we're about stalled out right there. I'm looking for a 385 on the MLK guys, 385. Timer's on for that one, let's go. 395 is in, guys. Looking for a 405, timer's on. There it is, 440 is in. Let me get that young 450, timer's on. There it is, Connor M. Hopkins not letting this one go. Looking for a 460. 520 is in from Kahlo. Looking for a 540. All right, there you go. That is gonna be sold to Kahlo Vintage for 520, congrats. The Drag Me to Hell. I got a higher start on this one. All right, we're stalled out at 40, no other bids. I've never got it, that's gonna be sold to Wardrobe Obscurum for the 40, congrats. All right, let's do the Eagles. 22 and a half, pit to pit, 30, top to bottom. It's in a nice worn in condition. You'll see that it has somewhere there along the title, but just a beautiful Eagles bootleg, man. Run that one up, guys. 40 is in from Link 23. Uh, let me show you guys some pieces that I also have on the website. So we got like cool basic tees like this one, Expose Yourself to Scuba. Single Stitch Jameson is an XL. This Ocean Pacific tee, but nice vintage basics, all for like 20 bucks. So if you wanna go ahead 1980somethingco.com right now, you can shop these pieces yourself, but uh, all the winners will be getting a 50% off coupon as well. So you got the underdog right there. Uh, to do some mo shopping. Kentucky Derby Festival there. Outdoor Outfitters, Eddie Bauer. Just a bunch of dope pieces up on the website. All right, it looks like we're officially stalled out on the Eagles. 100 is in, guys, looking for the 110. Timer's on. All right, we never got the 110. That's gonna be sold to Link 23 for 100. Link, picking up bangers, my guy. It's Bowie time. Bowie is a size 18 pit to pit. And it goes down about to 27. Uh, this one looks like it may have been a sportswear tag. That The sportswear tag goes back um, as far, I, I know at least for this through, uh, as far back as the 70s. And then on the sleeves here, you got holes right there. Really nice wear on this one. You got a nice little elbow hole right there. And then on the back, you have holes like that. So, I mean, the condition on this thing is beautiful. This looks like a real band tee condition, like a real rock condition. Um, graphic on this one, nice and thick. And uh, we'll start this one at a dollar. Whatever it goes for, it goes for. Bowie, starting at a dollar, let's go. 50 is in from Native, yes. 80 is in, 100 is in from Sentimental Finds. Chill. This is the kind of piece that you would find in a boutique store for three, four, five hundred. OG Bowie sh here. So uh, here on my show, you know, we're gonna run it at a dollar. I found it for a steal. I found, I thrifted it. So whatever it goes for, it goes for, guys. I'm happy to pass it on. I'm happy for the big pieces. Happy for the little pieces. 110 is in from Native. All right, guys, here it is. We're stalled out at 110 on this one. Let's turn the timer on. I'm always very like uh, weary when I find these tees because uh, there's a company that remakes them. So you always got to be uh, careful of those. You'll think you'll have an OG one. They do single stitch and everything. But uh, just the way that this print was caked on, you see how it's cracking like that? Um, and then the wear to it, 
I mean, newer tees could have that kind of wear, but look at the stitching on the inside as well. It just looks old. And then there's no over tag here. Usually those ones that are reprinted have like a big square stitched on. 130 is in from Thrift Native. Uh, buy the clothes all in back says that's totally OG. Hell yeah, thank you for uh, input. Uh, where would you date this one, guys? Where do you think this one's from? I'm thinking 70s. I'm thinking 70s for that one for sure. 70s or 80s, brother. All right. Yo, what up, Joe? What's popping? I think it's an iron on. Fine. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's an iron on, man. It doesn't really feel like an iron on. It do, uh, the way iron ons age, it doesn't really feel like an iron on. 150 is in, guys. 70s. Yep. Yeah. Appreciate that feedback, guys. We're at 150 on the Bowie. Let's go. Looking for a 160. There you go. That's going to be sold to Mr. Soul Satisfaction. All right, that's it. I'm done with the lives, guys. It was a good little vibe, but I know what you guys want to see. How much did the tees go for? So let's get into it. So uh, this MLK here is, uh, I paid 300 for it, and it went for five, a little over five, like 520, I believe. So 220 profit on the MLK. Happy about that. The Bowie, I found in a bin, and it came out to like less than a dollar, and it sold for 150 so we're at 150 profit on this one. So that's 220 plus 150, 220, 323, 70. 370 profit. This Eagle shirt, I paid 50 bucks for it and it sold tonight for 100. So that's 50 bucks profit. That puts us at $420 profit. And then this Drag Me to Hell shirt, I actually bought for 80, it sold for 40. So that's gonna eat $40 of our profit. So we made about, what was it again? <laughs> It was uh, 50 bucks, 150 bucks, 200 plus five, 400. So we'll just say like around $360 profit. So I'm good with that. Once again, I'm good with that. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys. If you like these videos, you want to see me do more of these quick flip videos, make sure that you subscribe, share this video as well. Engage with this video. It lets me know that you guys are into it. Guys, Virtual Flea, my vintage shopping event. It's huge, it's crazy, it's fun every time. It goes down May 20th in LA. If you want tickets, uh, somewhere up here you can get tickets. And you could, uh, if you're gonna be traveling to the event, or even if you're not traveling to the event, if you're in LA, take advantage of the room block. It's a lot of fun. We have trade pits in the lobby, it goes crazy. You can get the room block rate that we have just for the attendees of Virtual Flea. It's gonna be somewhere up here too. All right, y'all, thanks for watching, I'm out.